And um, when you think about Anne Shirley, uh, the love chapter greatly defines her. Now, my grandmother's Bible was the original King James, so I'm going to try not to use all the these and thous, if, uh, if you could bear with me on that. But if you would, uh, listen to 1 Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a tink tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and I understand all mysteries, and I have all knowledge and all faith, so that I could that I could remove the mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And though I bestow my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long, it's kind. Love does not envy. Love is not vaunted. It's not puffed up. It does not behave itself unseemly. It seeks not her own way. It's not easily provoked. It thinks no evil. It does not rejoice in iniquity. It rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But wherever there is prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there be knowledge, it will vanish away. For right now we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But that which is perfect is come, and that which is in part shall be done and away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. When I became a man, I put away those childish things. For now we see through glass, darkly, it's very dim. I know in part, but it, and then I will know even as I am known. And now abides faith, hope, and love. These three, the greatest is love. That chapter, when you walk away from today, I want you to remember that chapter. That was Aunt Shirley. She epitomized love more than anybody I know, except my grandmother. And that makes the history in this area really precious for me. I would tell you that faith and hope are more like the meat and potatoes of our Christian life. But you know what the special seasoning is? It's love. And we got to have that special seasoning in our lives. And it was amazing to be around her, to sit at her table. If you wanted to visit Aunt Shirley, if you were driving through town, she would say, come on by. If you didn't even say you were coming, she'd say, come on in, can I make you some pie? You know, most of us are too worried about stuff too worried about is our house clean and who's coming over and got to get everything ready and then we start losing our Christian love at that point. And Aunt Shirley was wise enough to understand it was a special season that made everything worthwhile. The meat and potatoes is just a plain life. She encouraged us to not live a plain life but a life with special seasoning. Thanks for listening this morning, Randy. Amen, thank you, brother. We're not gathered here this morning to be saddened. We're gathered here this morning to celebrate. We're gathered here to celebrate a life and a legacy. And this legacy will continue on in the hearts and minds of all of Miss Shirley and Brother Bill's friends and family. I would like to share with you, for those that may have not had the opportunity to see it, Miss Shirley's obituary. Shirley Depew, daughter of Archie and Hester Owen Sales, was born on Monday, October 5th, 1936 in Hawkeye, Missouri. 
she departed this life on Thursday, September 9, 2021, at Arkansas Methodist Hospital in Perigold at the age of 84 years, 11 months, and 4 days. On November 15, 1952, in Pocahontas, to Billy Howard DePew, he preceded her in death on November 26, 2019. She was a housewife, a teacher's aide for both Clarkton and Campbell schools, and a member of Cross Point Family Church. Her survivors include one daughter, Diane, three sons, Harold, Stephen, and David, six grandchildren, nine great-grandchildren, four great-great-grandchildren, and as, as, as Brother Keith mentioned, she survived by one brother, Donald, and one sister, Melba. Uh, before we go any further, each of you, if you don't have a copy, look over somebody's shoulder. We're going to sing one of Miss Shirley's favorite songs, and that is Amazing Grace. Uh, somebody, Miss Kathy, where you at? Start us off. Amazing. 